shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. What's going on, guys? This your boy EG TV. Bring you guys another Need for Speed Heat video. Today I have the best money method glitch how to make the most money in need for speed this is no lie this is all legit this is not based around uh time trials and doing different races or anything like that this is around a legit glitch i advise you guys to get on it right now because they will patch this very soon as you guys can see the money that i have right now i am you don't really need this much money, but you want to have this much money for, you know, down the line and longevity. But you guys see 61 million. I want to show you guys how to get that much and more. Uh, I am not the founder of this glitch. I am not the founder of this glitch at all. I don't know who was the first person who put out this glitch. I saw this glitch from a guy named Legacy, and I want to do my own version of it because a lot of the times these content creators do not explain it correctly step by step and people have a problem. I am here to do that for you guys. And then also the most, the other people that are doing these glitches are people in a, a different language that I don't understand that I can't even follow the steps. So today I will show you guys how to get this done. All right. So first things first, I haven't did anything. The first thing you guys want to do is go to an online lobby. All right. We're not gonna do any speed ups. We're not gonna do no cuts, no edits, because a lot of the time where people speed up, people tend to like lose, um, you know, have to pause the video or what did he do or why did he cut right here or why did she cut right here? So we're just gonna go through the whole thing from top to bottom, no cuts, no edits, no speed ups. You're gonna get some of the, you know, slower, loading screens if you're on console i am on xbox pc is probably gonna be a little bit faster if you have like an ssd or something like that but right now we just have to deal with these loading screen it might be a little lengthy but it is what it is i want you guys to be able to use this to its max potential so you guys can have the money that you need you also when you buy try to buy these cars you need to have that exact money for the car so if you want a million dollar car you need to have a million dollars if you want a, a one hundred thousand dollar car you actually need one hundred thousand dollars to be able to do this all right so just to show you guys that i'm not bullshitting you guys already see the money right there as you guys can see right here in my vehicle inventory i think i only have like 18 cars these are all my cars right here as you guys can see okay so these are all my cars, all right? So now you wanna go back out and you wanna go into the daytime, all right? Go into the daytime. You cannot do this at nighttime at all. You don't have a dealership to go to anything like that. So it's pointless. Go into the daytime, all right? All right, the next thing you guys want to do for here, from here, as you guys can see, I am in a online lobby. What you guys want to do from here is you guys want to go ahead and turn off the internet. You want to disconnect it and reconnect the internet. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that for Xbox. PlayStation is the same exact thing. So now what you want to do, you want to hit your middle button on Xbox. You want to go over to your settings and then your network settings. And then you want to go to go offline. And then you want to go back online and open the game again. It's going to give you an error message. That's fine. Once it gives you that error message, you know you're doing the correct thing. You want to go to the next step, all right? Once this loads up, we're going to go into a solo lobby, all right? So right after that, as you guys can see, we're going to go into a solo lobby. My money is still there. So we're going to a solo lobby. And then with the solo lobby, you guys want to repeat what we just did. All right. So you guys want to go offline and then you want to go online again. You want to repeat that process. You want to do that. Um, once, once you come back in, you want to do that again.
all right now we're back into our garage so what you want to do again is you want to back out hit the b button and you want to go into the daytime again all right as long as you guys follow these steps correctly i can't even explain it any more clear than what i'm doing right now you guys should be able to do this 100 percent of the time i've did a lot of trial and error with this glitch and it did not work all right so now we're back in the solo lobby we're back in the daytime you want to go back and you want to go back to your settings your network settings you want to go offline and then you want to go back online and you want to reopen your game now right after this you want to go ahead and you want to press start and as you guys can see, it's asking us to go online. You get an error message like this. Just keep spamming it until it connects, all right? So as long as this error message, uh, message is here um, and you're back online, make sure you're not offline. Make sure you're back online. Once you connect here, you want to disconnect again. So we're, you know, trying to connect, connect. All right, it connected all the way. You want to go back over to settings you want to go back over to network settings <clears throat> and then you want to go offline and then you want to go back online then you want to open the game again and then you want to connect again go online I'm just spamming it as much as I can uh, until it actually starts connecting. All right, now it's trying to connect again. All right, so it's back on and you guys wanna do that one more time. So you basically wanna do this like four times in total. You wanna go offline, this will be the fourth time. And then you wanna go back online and then you wanna go back to Need for Speed and you wanna go ahead and connect to the server again. For the people who stuck around this long, you guys are gonna be amazed on what you see. This is not clickbait or anything like that. A lot of content creators do like clickbaiting and giving out shitty content. Not, a, not gonna say any names, but we're not here to do that, all right? So now we're connecting. All right, so now we're connected back. You wanna hit the B button. We're still in the solo lobby, all right? So now that we're in the solo, solo lobby, you guys wanna go to the dealership. All right, once we're here at the dealership, you guys wanna go ahead and enter the dealership. And as, as you guys see, the money is still there. It's the same exact money. And this is basically how to get money and free cars if you want to. All right, so you have to have the amount of money that you wanna buy. So if you want this 23,500 car, you need to have 23,500. If you want a million dollar car, you need to have a million dollars, all right? So if you have a small amount of money right now, you can go with the max amount that you can buy and you can do this glitch, or if you already have, probably like a couple million, you guys will be able to do the big boy stuff. So, all right, so what you wanna do is go to the car that you wanna duplicate. Me personally, I'm gonna duplicate the uh, FXX Ferrari because that's the highest one that pays out for me. It comes from a level 50 clan. If you guys are not in a level 50 clan and you guys don't have it, you can go with any of these other cars, the Ferrari, La Ferrari, the Regera, anything else you wanna do. Most people do the McLaren, but I'm gonna do this one because this is giving me uh, the most pay. Uh, when, I, when I sell it back, this is what's giving me the most money, all right? So now, you guys wanna go ahead and buy the car. Once you buy the car, all right, <clears throat> I go back, I hit B to go back and purchase the car again. But if you do not have the money to constantly keep buying the car over and over, what you guys will wanna do is you guys will wanna buy the car 
and you want to send it to your garage okay so if you don't have the money to keep purchasing over and over and over and over you guys want to go send to garage and it's going to send you out and i'm going to show you guys how that looks at the end but for the people who have more money that can keep buying cars over and over and over then this is what you would want to do all right so once again i just hit b to bag out and then i'm buying it again and as you guys can see my money is actually going down now i'm at 55 million so i'm going to continue to buy this until i have no more money all right All right, you guys see we're getting closer and closer to not having enough money. I believe I can purchase this about two more times. And this is the last time I can purchase it because you guys see it's three million. Once the three million is gone, you can't purchase it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy it one more time. And instead of pressing B, once again, like I said, you're gonna hit to send to garage. It's going to kick you out of the garage, right? And as you guys can see, just to show you guys, only have 893k and you guys like damn you just bought all those cars now i'm gonna show you why this is dope as hell all right so now you want to get the money from this speed trap down here all right you guys see i got 1732 on the right hand side and then you want to come back to the speed trap again I got 1732 as well. And now you guys want to go back into the dealership and watch this. Back at 61 million. And now I have a little bit more because of the speed trap. So now what I do again is I go all the way back down to the car that I want. I'm only gonna do it one more time because I don't want to make this too lengthy. So I'm only gonna do it one more time and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much i'm not going to probably go through the whole process of showing you guys how much i got unless i speak the video up at the end but all right so now once again we're at 61 million we can afford these cars again so now once again i'm going to continue to buy these cars Oh, well, I messed that one up. But you can go back down. It doesn't matter. You can go back down. Just to show you guys, if you mess up like this, then it's, it's no biggie. You can go back down to the speed trap, get your money back, and come back to the dealership. Once you come back to the dealership, your money is going to be there again. All right, so you guys see I'm back at 61 million. So if, if, if that tends to happen, it's fine. You can just go back to the speed trap, come back do the speed trap, come back to the dealership and it's going to reset the money, but you still have the car at the same time. All right. So once again, we're going to go back to this car. We're going to purchase it and we're going to hit B purchase and hit B. And as you guys can see, the more I do this, my money is still going back down. So like I said, if you tend to slip up, no biggie.
All right, we getting down to a little bit last of the money. I believe I can buy this two more times and then one more. And now I can hit send to garage. All right, it's going to kick us out. We already swapped our car to one of the other Ferrari, so that's fine. And as you guys can see, once again, 898K. You want to go back down towards the speed trap. Collect that money from the speed trap. Then you guys want to come back. And then you want to go to the dealership again. And as you guys are going to see, the money is back again. So we're back at 61 million and some change. Uh, I'm just probably going to purchase one more and then send to garage and, and leave out because I don't want to keep doing that process over and over and over. It's going to probably take too long. You guys get the concept by now. And then I'm going to show you guys how to save this money and how to sell your cars. Do not click off of the video yet. Make sure you guys are doing this properly. Okay. Do not click off of this video. So once again, I'm going to just purchase the car and then I'm going to go to send to garage. Okay. I'm not going to go through that whole process of spending 61 million again. So we're going to bag out. And once we bag out now to have this to save, what you guys want to do is just open your menu to the game and you want to quit out of the game completely and reload need for speed. All right. Once you reload need for speed, there's going to be two error messages, especially for Xbox. I don't know how it works for PlayStation, but you guys should get an error message. There's going to be two error messages that pop up. You guys want to go ahead and um go through the first error message and then it's going to ask you do you want to upload your local inventory and you want to hit yes if you hit no you're not going to have any money and you want to start over all right All right, it's establishing connection right now. An error message should pop up. If the error message does pop up, you know you've done it correctly. All right, it says system sequence uh, synchronization uh, fail. Please contact customer support. Do not worry about that. Just hit OK and then go back into a solo lobby. As you guys can see, we only have 90, 901 k dollars and i'm going to show you guys how the glitch actually worked so now I go to play solo this message will pop up your local inventory doesn't match the ones uh stored online do you want to upload your local one until you can't uh until you do you can't play on uh, multiplayer hit yes all right it's going to go through your whole little inventory check everything is going to be fine and you guys will be able to go past this without any problem Now with this popping up right here, as you guys saw another error message popped up, that is fine. Um, you should get a, it's not too long, but a, a okay lengthy kind of load up screen. All right, it won't be super, super fast. And that's how you know if you've done it correctly. So right now, as you guys can see, it's a little slow on loading up that's fine that's normal it's supposed to be like that all right guys so we're back at the garage okay you guys see it's going to say I unlocked the new car, which I really didn't, but it is what it is. And now, as you guys can see, hey, it, it says that I only have 901 K, but now you guys remember, I told you I only hit 18 cars. It says I have 80 now. So I'm going to show you guys all the cars that we duplicated. So there's one car, two, three, four, and these are all the cars that we duplicated. All the red cars is what we duplicated. All right and we can sell all of these. As you guys see, all the duplications. We're going through all of them. See all those. So now what you will wanna do to sell these cars 
very easy you want to go over to showcase you want to hit a on the car you want to go to swap car and then this is the only time you should be selling your cars is once you restarted and went through those error messages all right so now you want to go to the cars that you duplicated and you want to go over to sale car it's going to ask for 1.4 for the ferrari and then now you see my money go up go back to swap car go to another ferrari or whatever car you have sell car 1.4 million now i'm at 3.7 go to another car swap car go to a ferrari you want to sell this car now i'm at 5.1 million and you guys get the concept you do this over and over and over until you sell out your whole inventory and if you want to just follow the steps and rent to repeat to do it again uh, it's a little lengthy, but I want you guys to understand exactly what I'm doing and not rush through things. So once again, if you want to sell another car, go to swap car, go over to whatever car it is. Mine's is the Ferrari. You want to sell the car 1.4 million, and then it gives you, I'm at 6.5. So I'm going to sell all these cars that I have in my inventory right now. And right after that, you guys can just quit the game and refresh it. If you guys want to do another online lobby again, um, because you have to re you basically have to restart the game if you want to go back online and then rinse and repeat it again or you can just stay offline play solo and do what you want to do and you know have fun with the game but that's really truly it with the video if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comment section if this video helped you guys up all helped you guys out i'm sorry leave a thumbs up as always if you're new to the channel hit that sub button notification button it's your boy easy tv Y'all have a blessed day and I'm out.